I'm going to show you how to make an old fashioned. This is my signature cocktail. First, you need a good whiskey. You can use whiskey or you can use rum. You also need Angostura bitters. First, you need to make the sugar syrup. To create the sugar syrup, you want to use white cane sugar. You need to make it one part sugar and half part of water. So if you use a full cup of sugar, then you would use half a cup of water and so forth. I'm going to make half a cup of sugar syrup as this old fashioned is just for me. But if you're serving for a large group of people, then you can obviously double or triple the quantity of sugar syrup. Always make this fresh rather than buying it from the supermarket as it tastes much better. I've got half a cup of sugar, which I'm going to pour into the saucepan. Now I'm going to use half of that, so a quarter of the cup with water. Cold water is perfectly fine. And now I'm going to add the cold water, a quarter cold water to half of my sugar. Now I add this onto the heat. You want to make sure that you don't caramelize the sugar. So stir on a low heat. The sugar needs to be fully dissolved for the sugar syrup to be ready. Make sure it doesn't boil. You'll know it's fully dissolved because the sugar will have disappeared and you will have a clear liquid within the saucepan. As you can see, the sugar is almost fully dissolved. I've lifted the saucepan off the heat to stop it from boiling or caramelizing. Heated sugar water is very dangerous, so be very careful when cooking. Once the sugar syrup has been made, it won't take long at all, pour it in to a separate container. Now we're going to start the main cocktail. Take the glass that you're going to serve the old fashioned in. And now we want 60 ml of whiskey. The key with making a good cocktail is that you're precise in the measurements. Don't deviate. So I'm going to use the 30 ml measure and I'm going to put two measures into the glass. Now we're going to put 25 drops of the bitters into the whiskey. Again, be precise. At this point, we're going to give it a stir. Now for the sugar syrup. The sugar syrup, we want 7.5 ml. Now I pour the sugar syrup into the whiskey cocktail and again, stir. Now I take my orange and my peeler, and after having washed the orange, I'm going to take one slice out of the orange. Careful not to get too much of the white pith as it's bitter. This I'm going to place into the drink. And lastly, the ice. I love big ice cubes because they take longer to melt. As the liquid melts into the whiskey, it dilutes the cocktail. So ideally you want a large ice cube to slow down the melting time and therefore not affect the taste too much. Take your giant ice cube, place it in the drink. Give it a final stir and there you have the perfect old-fashioned cocktail. Cheers.